What can I say, ladies and gentlemen? I am truly a masochist. It is almost time. We are just over three weeks away from the premiere. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, allow my monkeys to roll the footage. Yeah, that, that oh, works. I like All right. Okay. All right, moving, <laughs> moving on. Hey, what about Tulip? Ah, uh, I was a little frustrated. Batwoman, that's just a car. Somebody's watching this show. Ah, <laughs> uh, that like really annoyed me. Batwoman uh, is still doing quite well. It doesn't even look like Batwoman. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Peter, I'm really starting yeah, to question yeah, I'm even friends with you in the first place. Yeah. Here we are, Sci-Fi Wire, or I'm sorry, I can't call it Sci-Fi Wire. It's Siffy Wire, because let's be honest, this channel hasn't been the Sci-Fi channel in literally years. Uh, Batwoman Season 3 trailer brings Mad Hatter to the Arrowverse and Alice back into the fold. This is going to be a glorious dumpster fire. We've been promised more diversity, which in CW Arrowverse terms means... The Lesbian! <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to break this trailer down, and I just want to let you know, I have been covering Batwoman now for two years. Two years. Dos años for our Spanish-speaking viewers. I am committed to this. I'm not some fly-by-night who started covering this a year ago. I'm not some fly-by-night who started covering this six months ago because they knew it was going to bring you clicks. No. I made a guarantee after I reviewed the very first trailer. I will cover the show until the bitter end, every episode. And what have I done? I have done nothing but deliver on that promise. If you want Batwoman reviews and news, you know where to come. You come to your boy right here, the Batwoman aficionado. I've suffered so many traumatic brain injuries from this show, I can't even keep track anymore. Let's get into this. And first of all, the Mad Hatter, I mean, this dude looks like, this is Milk Toast Mad Hatter. Uh, Ryan will probably pick him up with one hand, spin him around on her finger, and just throw him into outer space. So long, gay boys. So what's next, Batwomanzies? If the new, tra I, I know what's next. Last bombs! <laughs> If the new trailer for the third season of the CW series is anything to go by, what's next for Gotham's titular hero is to track down the case of Batman trophies that got tossed into the river before anyone else gets to them. Yes, remember that scene from the final episode of season two where all the rogues galleries, uh, weapons, and various uh, you know possessions were floating down the river. Well, sh Poison Ivy's vine took hold on the shore and grew. Yeah, so we're going to get Poison Ivy. We know that. And they actually cast a, a white woman. I don't know if she's redhead or not naturally, but uh, her hair is red for the purposes of the show. I was shocked they didn't race bend this. But Robin Gibbons, Mike Tyson's former punching bag, is in the show. And uh, go back. And we're going to have to go. A, we're gonna, it's a minute and 11 seconds long. So we're going to have to uh, kind of go about five, six seconds of pop. So what's next, Batwoman? We find that case of Batman trophies before anyone else does. Okay, so we're going to start out with Luke, uh, Little Fox, and her uh, talking about hunting down the rogues galleries artifacts. We saw the, uh, here, we'll rewind it. I had to take a sip of coffee for the working man here. How terribly unprofessional of me. Let's roll back here. Uh, there's the Mad Hatter's hat, obviously. Uh, we see it floating down the uh, the river. Batman trophies before anyone else does. You can see, there's the hat again. That's not where I wanted to go. Curiouser and curiouser. Oh, there's there's the Mad Hatter. Oh, Gotham University Medical School. He's gonna speak at. So. I wonder how they're gonna punish the uh, the establishment of uh, of Whitey this season. There ain't no fluff here. Ryan Wilder's character was horribly received last season. The ratings were in the toilet. Um, every villain was just progressively dumber than the, the last one um, up until the season finale. It just, I mean, we had Dollar Store Bane. Um, I, I'm waiting for them to try to uh, shoehorn a Joker into the. I would honestly love to see 
how bad it would be. But because you know it can't get worse than Jared Leto's Joker, honestly, the hot topic garbage tier Joker. <laughs> Let's see what uh, Mad Hatter has to say here. Looks like uh, Paul Simon and Martin Short had a kid. Testing one, two, three. Gather round, friends. It's a lovely afternoon for tea. And he's probably going to kill those two security guards right on stage. These two right here. These two, uh, they, they're, they're going to die. Look at him, because he's like, oh my god, these These two security guards, they have suits and ties. I'm going to kill them with my cute little scarf i I'm not really as familiar with the Mad Hatter from Batman's Rogues Gallery. I'm truly not, because I wasn't a huge comic Batman fan. Um, you know, the animated series. He might have been in there. I don't remember. I haven't seen it in years and years and years. This is the, the inclusion of these villains. And like I said, Poison Ivy I'm a little more familiar with. Uh, the last live incarnation we got was Uma Thurman. And I think it was Batman and Robin. I think that's the one it was, either that or Batman Forever. One of the Schumacher movies, which were... <laughs> they're They're fun to watch for just campy purposes, but they're not very good Batman. You know what I mean? Like George Clooney... He's a horrible Batman. Uh, Val Kilmer. I like Val Kilmer, not, but not as Batman. You know what I mean? Like, he was, he was great in Willow. <sighs> I, I just, this show, Caroline Dries, you're a fucking idiot. And that's the first time I've called Caroline Dries a fucking idiot this video. I'm, I'm shocked it's taken that long. Okay. By the order of the mayor's office, you will be remanded into supervised custody. If you attempt to escape, you will spend the remainder of your life in solitary confinement. And oh, <laughs> so they're turning Alice over to the Bat Team. Well, well, well. And, and Ryan and, and Cuckwing. I mean, Luke Fox is Nightwing. Um, and Mary. Mary Zays. I wonder if she's still going to run her abortion clinic this season. I don't understand why Gotham would even need an abortion clinic because everybody's a Oh, we're scissoring. How many turkey basters they passed around there? <laughs> Are you serious? Any questions? Yes. Oh, what the fuck ever? Four down. How many still out there? A lot. You, you know, and, and I completely forgot about Megan Tandy um, because she was such a non-factor. Sophie or Crowfee. Crowfee! She was such a non-factor in the second season because they really had nothing for her to do. Without Kate, it was just like, hey, let's make her look like she's sympathizing with the evil racist crows and that will give Ryan another... Um, you know, authority figure to throw shade at, which is basically all they used her for. Never have I ever compromised my values to supporting white supremacist organization. Mm. You know, you took Julia Pennyworth out, which was a connective uh, tissue. And, you know, it's like she's over in Europe with her memory wiped now because of uh, Enigma. And she's dead because Ocean Man snapped her neck. Remember that? So th there's so much wrong with this already. Our team gets a beat on the Batman trophy, and then you use your creepy brain to figure out where it is. Mad as a hat. <laughs> Gay! There, there's, there's Robin Givens right there, um, and, and her son is, uh, let's see. Trophy, right? and then you use your creepy brain. That's, that's her son, uh, Cregan. Something is his name, Mark Cregan, I think. I, I can't remember. What, what the fuck is this? What the actual fuck is this? And we also get uh, Renee Montoya. This season, um, she is played by the same woman who played her in the Gotham TV series, which I have no idea. I, I haven't watched. Go I, I watched the first season of Gotham and I kind of just fell off of it. I had other stuff going on. I was working a lot of nights, um, so I didn't I didn't watch it. Um, I've honestly kind of meant to go back and watch it after this dumpster fire of a series. I've kind of wanted to go back and watch it um, because the guy did like the guy that played. Um, What's his name? Robin Lord Taylor. I think he played Penguin in it. Um, he had just come in at the end of like season one around that area, right before I quit watching it. And then he was, I saw him on Walking Dead, which he was just fodder in Walking Dead anyway. But uh, he got killed at Terminus. But yeah, this is how interesting this trailer is. I'm talking about Walking Dead, which another show I haven't even watched the last fucking four episodes of. Um, and yet I'm going to suffer through this shit. Uh, God, you know, and, and this... Like I said, this this trailer just looks horrendous. Uh, Rachel Scarston's character, the only thing I can hope for Alice is that she just continues to chew the scenery because that's what she was best at in the first season, was just in second season, just being a scene-stealing, 
uh, you know, uh, background scenery chewing monster. Javicia Leslie, it's it's no slight to her as an actress. You're just playing a shit character that's written horribly because these shows don't have writers. They have activists, and all of them have blocked me on Twitter. So, um, But Caroline Dries hasn't, and Caroline, you will block me this season. Trust me. Uh, this, this looks like shite. I can't wait. I'm so excited for how bad it's going to be. Um, let's, let's take this thing home. All right, so the trailer looks like hot garbage. It's going to be bad. We're including new characters, new villains for Caroline Dries and her merry band of idiots who pretend to be writers to ruin during the course of this season. I don't know how many episodes there are, but I know no matter how many there are, everyone will give the ratings an opportunity to dip down. Probably the first episode of the season, the ratings are going to bump. You'll see a little bump in the ratings, I imagine, the first episode, because you're going to have people curious as to how shitty it can get. Like, it's basically playing how low can you go with this. It's like, will this previous episode set the bar for the new golf score the week before? Um, because it is, it's, it's bad. It's a dumpster fire. Anybody who says, like, I laughed so hard and I cannot wait for the morons on Twitter to attack me during my reviews because I'm going to have to use my personal account to go and, and look at uh, the, the official Batwoman account and the writer's room accounts because they haven't blocked those yet. So yeah, they don't, they haven't blocked my personal account. So I can still, I can still look and see how the, uh, the writer's room and the official Batwoman account is, uh, is posting through there. So we'll still have those. We'll have Batwoman Twitter videos. What do you guys think though? Are you excited? Not for Batwoman to come back. Are you excited for my reviews of Batwoman to come back? And if there's any other Batwoman reviewers that you want to see me collab with, hit them up on Twitter, hit them up on Instagram, hit them up on Facebook, uh, wherever they are, let them know. You want to see them collab with your boy uh, because there's some bigger channels that I kind of I kind of laugh because they you know they, they they do the same things I do. Um, they have a bigger audience. That's fine. I, I appreciate that. And I, I watch a couple other ones that I, I find to be very humorous and uh, insightful in their reviews. So people I would like to work with uh, on one of these episodes or more than one. So let, let them know. Let me know in the comments below. And also, like I said, if today's the day I've earned it, slap that like button. Also slap that red button. Subscribe to the channel. We are like this close to getting to 800 which means we're that much closer to getting to a thousand we've got the watch hours ladies and gentlemen youtube is kind of punishing me in the algorithms right now I i've seen some things in my analytics that are very irregular so make sure if it's not too much trouble you're sharing the videos uh because it does it means so much to us retweets and all of that thank you so much for watching i'm e temple queen of the place to be reviews i've been here with all of you and if i don't see you have a great day a pleasant tomorrow i'll catch you on the next one and remember it's always better to burn out than fade away <laughs>